Toggle Track for Beginners. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be telling you about Toggle Track and how you can use it. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So for those of you who don't know, is this amazing tool which you can use to optimize your workflow, your business or your startup. And it is very easy to use and I'm going to show you how you can do it. And I'm also going to show you its features and pricings and other things as well now you can go ahead and download this application both on your phone on your ios phone on your android phone or you can just download the application of it as well or you can download the extension onto your chrome browser either way it's fine so to start up what you need to do is just simply sign up with your email so you can enter in your email address over here and enter in a strong password over here and just simply click on sign up with email or you can sign up with google which is an amazing way because that way you don't have to enter in a lot of details and you can easily sign up onto any website with just a single click of a button so i'm gonna go ahead and sign up and i'll catch you guys in a little bit okay so having signed up this is how the website will look like now over here, as you can see, this is going to be your dashboard. Let's just give it a few seconds to load up and all of the other options as well. And then we'll get started. So you have your options. So I'm going to go ahead and choose. I'll explore on my own. So over here, as you can see, this is your dashboard. You have your create a project over here. You have your what are you working on? Basically, you can enter in a task over here. You have your time and you have your money and then you have your timer over here. You can go ahead and track your time by clicking on that button. And you have 100 integrations available, which I think is pretty amazing. And over here on the left hand side you have your reports which will indicate all of the reports all of your weekly reports you such as on your team on your clients on project tasks billable and stuff like that then you have your insights basically it will give you a detailed version of your projects and you can switch between graphs and other things as well and then down below you have your projects over here you can manage all of your projects or you can create new projects or add new projects and then down below you have clients over here you can manage your clients you can have a list of your clients. You can add new clients, lead older ones or stuff like that. Then you have your teams. Over here, you can add in different members of your teammates. So right now, I'm only me. I can go ahead and invite other teammates by simply clicking on this button as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that actually to show you so that we can actually, you know, use those teammates that I have added. So in other processing as well so i'm gonna go ahead and add in some of my older emails over here so just simply add in the email and once you have done that you can go ahead and do that later so if teammates have been added they can go ahead and click on the invite links and then they will go so right now i have members invited so we'll just go ahead and skip that for now now let's just go back over here at the top over here you have your main account over here so over here as you can see you can go ahead and add whatever your item whatever task you're working on so let's just say that you are working on a video now you can go ahead and create a project as well so you can go ahead and create your own workspace you can add a different client if you want to you don't have in one right now you have your templates you have your project uh, option as well you want to keep it private or keep it you know public so that anyone can join in and join no and whatnot so i'm going to go ahead and write tests as well and then i'm going to add a new client call him john i'm going to click on add and i'm going to choose a template now we can find a template as well but right now we have no template we'll just leave it at that now we'll just go ahead and click on create project we'll have our project created right now you know test john we can go ahead and we have our task over here we can go ahead and click on this button to actually start recording the timer so as you can see it's time recording the timer now if i click on this button over here it will actually turn on billable or non-billable so if i click on it right now it's off even though the timer is running which means that this is a non-billable time if i turn it on it is just now billable which means that you have to pay for this time so we'll just keep it on while it's on we'll just work on other things as well so as i said before you have your projects down below right here so if i click on this project i'll open up the project over here you have your dashboard now you have no data right now what you can do next is you can go ahead into the task and you can go ahead and edit all of the tasks you can assign a different task to a specific person you can say like okay this person has to do the editing this person has to get the video footage this person has to color grade them and this person has to you know add subtitles or whatnot and then finally you have to add another person to proofread all of that you can add all of them over here then you can add in different team members as well if you have the added them over here right now i have you know invited my older emails 
people so let me just go ahead and double check them so that i can invite them as well okay so there was a longer process because i had to sign up with other profiles as well so i'm not going to do that but you generally get the idea of what you're basically doing right you just have to add in your members and start to work working then you have your clients over here you can add different clients and stuff like that now what i did wanted to show you guys is the settings option where we can have like you know add in like our different photos and stuff like that but what the main thing i wanted to show you guys is the integrations over here we have our gyra sync we have our salesforce syncs we have our iCal integration and then we have our asana project manager we can go ahead and enable that so that we can go ahead and connect it with it same goes with gyra and all the things now that you know a little bit about this uh website let me just show you how much it costs like let me just show you the pricing of it so if i click on subscriptions over here okay so we have all of our times over here let me just wait a couple of seconds for the website to load okay so here we go so as you can see the website has been loaded up and we have a couple of different options so for the free options we have the enterprise option which is just the custom price we can usually the higher one is over here on the right side and the lower one is over here so i guess this is different okay so let's start with the free version so for the free version as you can see it's zero dollars and you have up to five you free use you can add like five users for free you have time tracking timeline auto track detection promodoro timer import export 100 integration and stuff like that and for the starter pack which is nine dollars per month which is not that expensive i would suggest that if you are trying to build up a startup i would suggest that these nine dollar you know investment is pretty decent for this you get everything in free plus billable rates time rounding time estimates tasks project templates and i call integration now project templates i think it's pretty nice because that way you can have your own templates of you know organizing your task because sometimes you want to make it a little bit easier i think it's pretty important and you have your task and i call integration which also makes it worth it so i also it's not that expensive it's like nine dollars i think it's pretty decent price and then you have the premium up so you can have everything in this one including time tracking reminders schedule reports time audits insights project dashboard admin dashboard add and lock time enterprise required fields and single on ssos so it's 18 dollars. i don't think that a lot of these things matter when I mean, you do get project dashboard and you have scheduled reporting which is pretty nice and you have time tracker reminders as well which i think is pretty cool but i still don't think that it's as that you should get that for 18 dollars per user which is quite a lot so i would suggest the nine dollars per user is pretty decent i think everything could be you know summarized it up i think this one is the perfect one if you want to choose it but that's just for my preference opinion you can use it however you feel like it i'm just you know expressing my own personal opinion over here as you can see it's pretty amazing now let me just go ahead and so it's pretty amazing and then you have your enterprise as you can see for this one you have your solutions for your large or complex organization for this the price is customized you have to contact them to get the price so you get everything in these three plans plus you get priority support expert training and assistance and customizable solutions so i guess it's pretty decent but if you are, you know, trying to be professional and you have a lot of money to spare and you want to, you know, get the best of the best, then I guess for you, the enterprise is best one for you. Now you know how to use basically time track, uh, toggle track and how you can use it to track your time and stuff like that. Now, if you still didn't know, let me just go over it a little bit more. So as you can see over here, the video editing and testing and time is being tracked let's go ahead and stop it and see how it looks like so over here if i click on this image over here we have video editing test john and the billable rate is this one and we have six dollars so if i click over here we will see the report of this and we will see the billables okay so this is billable and this is non-billable so everything is billable and right now as you can see i haven't earned zero dollars but for you can go ahead and set that in the settings i think if you come over here you can go ahead and add you know per rate of four year dollars right and you have general you have alerts integrations data export single on sites and stuff like that and as you can see over here hourly rate you have usd currency we'll go with like ten dollars per hour yes change rate okay there we go and then when we go back i think we'll go ahead and see rate as you can see we work six minutes and we earn like one dollar so as you can see for an hourly rate it's pretty nice so there you go that's how you basically use toggle track and how you can use it to manage your teams and or your you know enterprise or your workflow your business whatever so i hope if this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye